Hey guys, this is Andre, and today in this video we're going to talk about the second new monster coming in Summoner's War. It is called Pumpkinhead? Nope, it is called Jack-O-Lantern. I'm very sorry for that. It's not Pumpkinhead. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the skills. The first skill for the Jack-O-Lantern is, is Trickster. Attacks enemy three times, with each hit having a 30% chance to decrease the target's attack speed for two turns. Pretty basic there, not much uh, to talk about. You get to, you hit them three times, and each time uh, each hit has 30% chance to decrease attack speed. Um, looks like the fire and light um, jack-o'-lanterns have ghost appearance. Uh, yeah. Uh, calls upon the wandering the wandering souls to attack the target four times. Each hit has a 30% chance to increase the target's chances of dealing a glancing hit for two turns. So this monster seems like a supporter, just to get some debuffs out. Uh, now the other second uh, skill is Song of the Night Wind. Increases the attack speed and crit rate of all allies for two turns. Very cool. Uh, now they all have different a, either passives or the fire one does not have a passive. So let's check it out, the third skill. Attacks all enemies two times, with each hit having a 50% chance to either decrease their defense or disturb the HP recovery for two turns. Interesting. Now let's talk about the water ones. The Cunning passive. Steals a beneficial attack from the enemy target when landing an attack. Your attack speed increases according to the beneficial effects currently on you. Very interesting. The water one seems fun now. Uh, the Shadow of the Moon passive. Gains a shield that is equivalent to 20% of your max HP for one turn when being attacked by an enemy. This effect only activates once a turn. This is interesting. So you get 20% of your max HP on, uh, for a shield. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just one turn. So just a shield. Uh, long waiting passive for the light pumpkin head. Becomes immune against inability effects. Also, your attack power is increased by 20% for every beneficial effect on you. It seems like... um. Kind of like the Frankenstein 2, uh, the debuffs and the, of course, the um, the inability effects and what the beneficial effects you have on you, they um, they either increase or decrease how much uh, damage you do for, in this case, for 20% for every beneficial effect on you. Uh, finally, the Dark uh, Jack-O-Lantern, the Knight's Comfort passive. If the turns if the turn ends without attacking an enemy, a shield that is proportionate to your level and lasts for three turns is generated. While having the shield, all damage is increased by 50. All damage you deal is increased by 50%. So this will be cool. So if your turn ends without attacking enemy, so I believe this is only if you do not attack. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll, I'll be sure to um, make an updated version of this. If yeah, it's either going to be if you don't attack or your team doesn't attack. I'm pretty sure if it's just the jack o' lantern doesn't attack. But uh, this will be interesting to see um, the Jack O' Lantern. I'm really excited. Not as much as the Frankenstein, because the Frankenstein seems like a defense. Kind of like, um, reminds me of Living Armor in a way. But uh, we'll see how the Jack O' Lantern turns out, the pumpkin heads. Uh, tell me what you guys think of these new monsters down below. I'll be right back when the um, update does happen. I'll be trying to get you guys some rune builds. That way we can get some in-depth analysis of these new monsters. Because they look pretty fun to use. And the Jack O' Lantern I really want to try out. Not as much the uh, Frankenstein though, but uh, I want to see what you, uh, your guys' favorite is down below. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll be right back when Summoner's War does the update. So thank you guys, and have a good day.